Um, so this is video. I sped it up because there's a lot of noise from hair dryer and heat gun. Um, and you don't want to sit all day watching me make a painting. So yeah. So this is me. I just poured clear resin on this piece that I had put a background of a dark teal blue on. And let's see, that, that's me heating up the bottom of the cups of resin that I've mixed color into to try to thin it out a little bit um, so it'll pour a little easier. Um, you'll see here in a second, that this one, I actually start to melt the cup and I didn't realize it <laughs> at first. So there's that, that, that lighter teal. The cup was melted, uh, but not to the point that it was like leaking or anything. Um, and I'm using black, lighter teal, white, and a glitter mix of a, mm, a blue and a clear holographic glitter mixed together. And this is right here, me using the heat gun to get the bubbles out and to heat up the product some more. That's me just maneuvering the paint around a bit. And now I'm using the hair dryer, and that's what I use, move most of the paint with throughout the video. Again, I just sped it up because it takes a long time to do. And I just want you to get the idea of what I'm doing without having to sit a long time while I'm mixing and pouring and things like that. And the hair dryer is loud, so. That's what I'll be doing for pretty much the remainder of the video. Um, I think I take you down at the end and I show you what the piece looks like. Um, and I'll put a little clip at the end also for with a better view of what the final product is. Um, you'll see also towards the end I use a little jar of paint, metallic paint. Um, it's like, like a bronze leafing paint that I'm using there. Um, that breaks up really cool with resin. So um, that's what I'm doing with the paintbrush. And yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about resin painting, just let me know. Um, if you have any requests, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.